was in Ban a gazillion years ago. It was wonderful. It was special. It was a huge part of molding me into who I am. But it was even more. I didn't realize the impact it had on me until a recent battle with breast cancer tested me to the core. It was a trip back home to Orlando, Florida during my recuperation that really showed me how important my band experience was to who I am. Music is a connecting force that people really don't understand how powerful that is. It's so pivotal with so many tasks in society, whether you're in business, whether you're in sports, whether you're in education, just about any task. I think band and specifically marching band and those types of enterprises, students are doing the same thing musically and they're contributing. There's an expressive element, I think, that doesn't exist in other organizations. Being in band has just been more than a class or a club. It's been a family that I can go to and express myself. It's not confined to just the band room or um, the practice field for marching or the auditorium during concert season. Here I'm hoping to kind of use the skills that I've developed, um, develop them further, and also be able to take on some leadership roles. One of the things marching band is so good for is the, the teamwork, the leadership opportunities uh, that students are provided that help them to grow as individuals. Uh, the leaders that we had the first year at Lake Mary were all ninth and 10th graders. A 10th grader with big time leadership responsibilities. It makes every day that you get up more powerful than it would have been without the experience in your life. For me, standing there in that classroom, I want to be their champion. I want to be the person that changes every single life, even if they don't want that life changed. I want to affect change for a long time, and the way that I can do it is through music. I believe you should go to work every day loving it. I believe you should go to work every day trying to get things better. Today, we were in um, a band rehearsal, um, just the top band, and we were practicing marching music. One, ready, and. What's that noise? All of a sudden, there was a big noise outside while we were rehearsing, and she kind of stopped and looked around and was like, what was that? And someone goes, oh, it's thunder. Oh, thunder. What? Thunder. And she just glares at the door and goes, no. Ready? <laughs> no. No. Ready? One, two, three. So that stuff kind of happens often whenever we have problems with the weather. It's like, don't worry, Miss Barry will fix it. Success to me is having a plan and not wasting time and moving forward. Success to me is overcoming obstacles and putting a spin on them so that you can make something positive out of it. If you're way out of a line, it's because you're not using your eyesight. Yes, I'm hard on you, but you can do better. The skills the students have to achieve to play well are skills that are transferable to everyday life. Those who were exposed to music at an early age and those who have stuck with music perform very, very well in society. To be at the high school level at a much more mature level in, in regards to music and sophistication, it's just the next step to be even more proficient and be part of an even larger enterprise that you could then springboard into college and beyond. In an age where budget cuts are the norm and testing is the priority, see how a solid music education foundation can affect a person's life. I know that my music background made all the difference in my own recovery. In music, you don't have time to freak out about anything. So it really teaches you to just let what's going to happen happen, trust what you've done, and just go on from there. And I feel like that transfers so much into our everyday life. Through an intimate look at one of the nation's finest band programs, we get a glimpse of the power and the lasting impact of music to the soul. Music education is vital. It's vital to our culture. It's vital to the humaneness of us as a people.